Hello, welcome back to Limited Insight. It's episode 8 of the Granny Annex build and week 10 of work on site. In this episode we'll go through this week's updates on the project and we'll also talk about timeline because uh, it's kind of gone like that. So uh, we're going to discuss why that's happened, what has caused it, as we're now around the original estimated completion date and there's still an awful lot of work to be done. So we're going to go through the jobs that still need to be carried out and uh, give you an idea of when this project is actually going to be complete. So this week tiling continued on the roof. The membrane was 100% completed, so the roof is now watertight. The back portion of the roof is now completed as well. And it's just the finishing tiles left to install. The wall insulation that we've been waiting for has finally arrived, so the back wall could be completed. And the top of the walls all the way around has been completed too, with, uh, with slightly shorter blocks. So the outer walls are now complete and ready for their final finish. If you recall this building will be part wood clad and part rendered. The portions that will be clad then wrapped in another waterproof membrane. This serves as just another layer of protection. Battens are then fixed in place for the cladding to be fixed to when that arrives. Yes the window gaps are also covered. That's to make the building watertight until the windows arrive in a few weeks, at which point it will be trimmed. In the meantime, we can get on with the electrics first fix, uh, which is scheduled for the end of next week. It will also allow things like the internal walls to go up and plastering to start. The kitchen also arrived this week. This was ordered well in advance and will now be stored in the garage for a few weeks until it's ready to be installed. The kitchen was purchased from DIYKitchens.com uh, where all the units come ready assembled which is handy. We've also gone for a handleless design too so should allow for a swift install when the time comes. We have also had a delivery of all appliances. An induction hob, fridge, freezer, extractor fan, microwave, uh, well all but the oven which there's a slight delay on. So that's it for progress on the Alex this week. Now it's time to talk about the lead time. So when we started this project, we were told that the estimated completion time would be 10 to 12 weeks. Uh, we're now 10 weeks into that, and there's absolutely no way that the rest of the work to be completed will be done in the next two weeks. It's just physically impossible. So what has happened with the timeline? Why are we so far behind? Um, Good question. I think there are a few reasons for that. When we were given the timeline, that assumed for working five days a week. Now, the average time spent each week on this project has been three to four. So, ten weeks down the line, we're at least a couple of weeks, maybe three, behind uh, in terms of physical days worked. So, that makes uh, a big difference to the lead time. Um, our builders are carrying out this project whilst undertaking smaller jobs at the same time, obviously to keep, keep them going and keep their customers happy, um, it, you know, which, uh, which I completely understand. So what is left to do? Um, there is quite a lot and it's, it's the, the smaller jobs really that bring the whole thing together. So. Um, there's no real massive jobs anymore that are going to take a, a whole heap of time. It's uh, it's just the smaller stuff which uh, we should be able to to kind of knock out quite quickly. So the internal walls need to go up, plasterboards need to be fitted throughout. So ceilings too. 
the windows and French doors need to go in and of course the internal doors, skirting boards, door frames, that sort of thing. The floor also needs skimming so that'll have a self-leveling cement go down just as a final layer really that, that the uh, final floor covering can go straight on top of um, without any sort of lumps and bumps underneath it. The electrics need to go in, that's first and second fix. Uh, the plumbing is required at the moment, there's just a water feed coming into the property and uh, a waste going out. So the water feeds need to come in for the kitchen and the bathroom. The whole place needs painting then. So kitchen, bathroom, living area, floors, ceilings, gloss work, all of that has to be done as well. That's probably two or three days work in itself. And then we need to actually fit the kitchen, all appliances, uh, the bathroom with shower, sink, toilet, uh, heated towel rail, all of that's got to go in. As well as everything with the second fix of the electrics like the uh, electric heater panels and the heaters for hot water. So that's all just the stuff for the inside. Outside you've still got an awful lot of stuff to do as well, um, like I said half rendered, half clad, that's all got to be done. So all the way around the back of the building, plus the front quadrant, which makes up the bedroom, that's all gonna be wood clad. Uh, and then the front portion where the living area is, including round by the French doors, that will all be rendered. So that all needs to be done as well. And there are also several bits of landscaping to carry out. So you've got, as well as putting the garden uh, back together where it's all been ripped up we need to get the tiling down uh, which will run from the top of the stairs up to the annex around the back and there'll be a small patio area where we can have a, a small table uh, to sit outside in the summer and then there's the drains as well that's still not complete that should be done in the, within the next two weeks so um, the water feed needs to be connected to the house and then the, uh, the waste all needs to be connected up. They'll have to rip up the patio uh, of our house in order to get to the sewer system. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all of the jobs that need to be carried out in the next two weeks. Obviously not possible. So we're not gonna meet the deadline. It's gonna drag on. Uh, my current estimation is it's probably going to take another six weeks to complete. So a month over, not too bad I guess, but uh, there we are. So that's it for this one, check back next week. Uh, we should have first fix electrics going in as well as the internal walls and maybe some plasterboards going in, that sort of thing. So uh, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you then, bye bye.